Yo, how we doing everybody? It's been a little too long since we've played Pokemon, I feel. Um, for today, starting off, I'm actually going to be working on the Pokedex a bit. Because, uh, I've been meaning to complete the Pokedex. I don't plan on, like, you know, instantly completing it. But, uh, we're going to catch some Pokemon. There's, uh, quite a few I'm missing. But, yo, how's it going, everybody? Let's see. Maybe we'll just start on the first thing I can catch, I guess. Can you catch two cannon in this game? Oh, it's probably SOS, even if it is. Yeah, no, okay, and there are two cannons. What am I missing? <laughs> Yo, D-Train, what up? How'd the race go? Um, uh, pretty poorly. Uh, it took me a long time to, like, be able to even remember how to, like, shell jump in, uh, Mario Maker. And then once I started doing that, we went like a good four hours and then I was like able to like do everything you need to do to beat the level. I just need to like do it. But yeah, nah, I uh, I decided to stop playing after four hours. Starting at 1pm, I just didn't have like the endurance to go all the way. And then uh, Doomsday beat it shortly after I stopped playing. Like, I didn't see exactly how long it took him, but yeah, he, he did it at a pretty good pace, I think. Alright, so yeah, most of the Pokemon I don't have are ones that are, um, evolved. Yo, you have a two cannon? Yo, if you want to touch trade that with me later, that would be cool. Um, Mistrevious, that's a base Pokemon. Oh yeah, I just catch that in the cemetery at night. But yeah, I'm playing Pokemon Moon, so technically it's a day for me, so I can't catch Mistrevious right now. RIP. Oh, you also have the entire decks, Ace Dunsparce? Yo, fair enough. Yeah, if there's anything that I find, like, really tricky, I'll definitely, uh, try to get some help. Yo, Rabombi, that's evolution as well. Man, I thought there would be, like, more Pokemon that I just haven't, like... Right, but yeah, I've caught a lot of them actually, so that's good. We need to evolve Bagon. Her deer. Her 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 deer? Yeah, there we go. Porion, Zoltion, Flareon, Espeon. Yeah, no, we need to get all of those. Yeah, wait, what's the last one? Oh, that's Sylveon? I haven't seen a Sylveon. Okay. Jigglypuff. Can you catch Jigglypuff or only the baby? It's gone on a different island. Yeah, no, apparently you can find it here and during the day, which it is currently. Is this a SOS Pokemon, or can I just run into a Jigglypuff? So if, the, if that's the case, um, I should catch a Jigglypuff. And D-Train saying, ah, okay, I got done working on my car at 10.30, came home, thought, hey, that level looks hard, maybe Vince is still playing it or something else, a rip. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I definitely, definitely called it early. Alright, let's see. We're gonna look up Jigglypuff. Let's see, Serebii, Jigglypuff. And Sun and Moon. Um, SOS only, alright. So yeah, maybe that's not the first one I go for. Alright, Lorantis, I'm sure that's SOS. What about, yeah, that... For the free evolution Yeah, I just need to evolve everything. Jeez. Oh, wait. No, not Feebas. Not Feebas. Alright, we catch Feebas. Oh, in there? Alright. Yeah, let's go fish ourselves a Feebas, I guess. I think I know where that is. Oh, wait. What Pokemon do I have with me at the moment? Oh, Pichu and Elisopod. I don't need a Pichu. Yeah, go Lysopod should be all I need, I think. And he's got False Swipe. Uh, do you still have Sing? No, you have Encore right now. Mm. I can fix that. Yeah, let's give her Sing to help with catching Pokemon. Bass is a ridiculous 5%. Magic Carp is like 50, and then there's other things. Yeah, nah, that sounds about right. 
Yeah, no, I'm sure catching P bass will be easy. Alright. Would I like to remind a Pokemon of a move? I sure would. Free Marina, please. You gotta get lucky? Yo. I don't know about lucky, but I know about spending enough time until it happens. That, that I can do. Alright, yeah, let's replace Encore with Sing. Yeah, I was teaching Encore to Raichu. I mean, I ended up not using Encore, but I figured it was better to read the egg move in a Raichu than not have it. <laughs> Starting uh, a timer when I get there? Yeah, sounds good. Alright, that was over here. Alright, so this Feebas, is it like... Does that have a higher chance on um, a shiny fishy spots or not? Uh, nah, we're good. We're trying to catch a Pokemon, we don't need repels. Yo, gotta surf. Alright, let's see, let's see. The catch rate for Feebas is... Yeah, just um... Oh, it's, yeah, 5% in the special ones. Okay, okay. So yeah, it needs to be special. Oh boy. Well, this'll be fun. Because I can't actually... I can't actually soft reset uh, with the way I'm streaming. It, like, crashes my 3DS. That's gonna be fun. Need any beasts? I need every single Ultra Beast. Alright, so that's a Goldeen. That's not what I'm looking for. No, no, Goldeen. Gotta soft reset it. Doesn't it just, um... Where's the zone, like, reset here? Oh, I have to walk through grass, like, either way. That's icky. Yeah, no. We have to, like, completely leave the area. Oh, man. This'll take forever. We got all the V6 up Guzzlord? Yo, yeah, fair enough. So P dude. So I don't wanna fight every Pelipper that exists. Oh no, it's a Psyduck. I don't need a Psyduck though. I definitely have a Psyduck already. I don't think I have a Bulldog. Yeah, there's so many Pokemon I haven't evolved. Maybe that's what I should do. I should just evolve some Pokemon. But nah, man, I'm gonna have all the, all the special fishy spots. See? Man, not a problem. One p -bass. Oh, nope, I got a pearl. Oh boy! What I always wanted. A pearl. Fantastic. Christopher Fritz saying, and to think I just wonder traded a bunch of Feebas the other day. <laughs> Yo, rip. Rest in peace to Feebas dream. I can't believe I never caught a Feebas. But apparently I had better things to do at the time. There's a Poliwag. Poliwags are good. But yeah, I have like more than enough Poliwags. You ate some sparks. The way I got my fish was by going to a fishy spot, then going back up to the next spawn. The spots move and it takes less time. Oh yeah? So you went between like two ponds? Nothing seems to be biting. Oh, 
come on. Hey, here we go. Say, same three spots and three pawns? Okay. Well, obviously, this fishing spot is cursed. We have to check the other ones. Magic carp. Oh boy. Alright, so let's check the third pond. Alright. Here, here we go. It's speed bass time. I can feel it. Yo, that lag. Alright, one fee bass, please. I mean, it's a 5% chance. That's 1 out of 20. That's pretty high in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, it's wishy washy. Oh boy. I already got plenty of wishy washies. Back to the other pods. Alright. Oh, oops. Oh wait, no, I did actually get it. I was like, oh no, I didn't reach it. I totally reached it. Oops. Well, next pod. I shouldn't match buttons so fast. So I was like, yeah, no, I'm not close enough. Now, now, give me the fishy. Alright. I remember once in Black White 2, I was texting and I had to- Oh, it's Feebass, here it is! Yo, good luck, man. How to get Politoed, which is 5% of bubbly water. The issue is it used Parasol first turn, every turn. It's a 5 hour grind. Yo, that sounds super unfortunate. Yo. That Politoed did not want to be your friends. Yo, this Feebass, though. Feebass is all about being my friends. Alright. Yo, Free Marina, let's go! And then for the Pokeball. Wait, oh yeah, I reorganized these, I forgot. There it is, Netball. Only five minute grind. Hey, Beebass, let's go. Alright, that, uh, that didn't take long at all. Go us. I'm gonna do some trades for decks. Yo, if there's Pokemon that like I have trouble getting, then yeah. Alright. So there's Feebas. Who do we need next? Alright, um. Lazzle. Yeah, I can just evolve to land it. Um, oh, Kang is gone. That's right. This is, um... Yeah, this is uh, where Magby is, right? Yeah, over here. 
And I think that's SOS, but like, I think it's like pretty high odds. Okay, let's try to catch Kangaskhan. I was like, I could have caught a Kangaskhan, like, not too long ago, but I, I had to choose, did I want the Kangaskhan or did I want the, um, or the Cubo? And I, like, that's what I was doing, right? Oh yeah, that's right, I was trying to, um, I was trying to steal, uh, thick clubs from Cubones, that's what it was. I remember that. Look, it's Super John? You, what do you mean? I ain't got no Johns. But yeah, no, I, I think the odds for Kangaskhan are high. Yo, Solani, get out of here. I'm looking for Cubo. Yeah, I don't know what it is about Cubo and having such a high chance to pull Kangaskhan, but that's what happened last time I was here. Oh, that's a Magby. Yeah, Cubone I think has a 30% chance of showing up. You don't remember how you spent five minutes drowning during the race? Only five minutes? Like, if you want to get, like, technical here, I'm pretty sure I was complaining about not being able to do shell jumps the entire race. I don't know about five minutes. Something about getting anxious? Oh no, I was I was giving a talk about anxiety and like how I thought I was going to be able to body Wolfgang. I didn't have any 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 anxiety. Anxiety. Man, <laughs> words are hard. But yeah, nah. Anxiety's not a problem I have. Conspiracy theory confirmed? What if Cubone is Kangaskhan's child? Yo, maybe, man. Maybe. <laughs> By saying John, John, John while I explained it? Yo, man. That was an important speech. You should have listened to it. You should have listened intently and taken down notes. You know, that's world experience over right there. Alright, come on, Cubone. Oh my goodness! Where is Cubone at? I found him so fast last time I here. Now I'm finding like 50 birds and the occasional Magby. Oh my goodness! Fleshly, why? What is it about these birds, dude? They love me right now. Never returned to finish the race? Nah, if I remember right, you, you beat the level, didn't you? So, I didn't really see the point. Hey, Cubone! Swipe. Gotta increase that SOS chance. Call him for help, King Scum. No pop up. I'll just use my handy dandy adrenaline orb. Yeah, Wolfgang disappointed, rip. Alright, liquidation. Alright, where is... where is Kangaskhan? Come on, Kangaskhan! When am I gonna finish the level? Uh, for Mario Maker, I'll do that. Um, hmm. Pretty much whenever Wolfgang's like good to watch, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Nah, it's a fun level. I really like the level. Like, at first I was having a lot of trouble with it, but once I started to get a better um, grip of the shell jumps, 
Like, I think the level is super doable. Like, it's super doable. It's not that hard at all. Like, it's a little tricky, but... Nah. I could probably beat it in, like, an hour, I think. Yeah, there's the King of Skan. I knew she'd show up. I knew she'd show up. Get out of here, Cubone. Oh, an hour? What do you mean? Like, it's so easy, dude. Like, legit, I just have to, you know, I just have to string everything together. Like, there's literally only two parts of the level that I think are necessarily, like, uh, lame. And those being the two parts where, like, you have to start over. I mean, also, you start over wherever if you die, but it's not that bad. But yeah, um... Which ball should I use? Luxury ball, maybe? Yeah, people teach King's Gone, like, in turn, right? Should watch your completion? You won't discourage me? Nah, man, it's gonna be so easy, dude. It's gonna be so easy. Like, I've done all the parts. Like, I got really good at the beginning of the level. I got really good at a couple of the shell jumps. Like, I need to be a bit more consistent than what I am. But yeah, it'll really only take a little bit of time, and like, it'll be so free. Like, it's, it's honestly not hard. Like, it's really not. Like, I would've beat the level much like, I would've beat the level within the four hours I was playing it, if I played Mario Maker literally at all. But yeah, I'm so out of practice, so I couldn't do any of the shell jumps for the longest time. Alright, Beware? I have not caught a Beware? Are you serious? I've caught so many Bewares. I can't believe I've never caught one. Yo, let's go catch a Beware it's so fast. Did all the parts in half an hour? Yeah, I'm surprised it took you as long to beat the level as it did. Like, if I was anywhere near as good as you were at shell jumps right from the start, I would have beaten the level, like, instantly. Like, I'm not- I'm not kidding, like, it's so simple. The level's really not hard. Alright, get out of here, Bramble. But yeah, I, I don't know what the actual encounter rate of Beware is, but it generally doesn't take me that long to encounter it. <laughs> Let's see it then. Yo, we shall, we shall, and it will be easy. It will be so easy, dude. And on the bright side, like, I'll be pretty good at my shell jumps. Like, my item drop jumps are pretty legit. I mean, they're not the best, but it was it was getting pretty good towards the end. And especially my P-Switch jumps, I got a lot better at that. And Doomsday says, to be fair, it wasn't until the last hour that I remembered how the shell jump the easy way. Oh, how to shell jump the easy way, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you. Yeah, I saw you doing, um, I'm not sure if that was the easy way, but you were like... I don't know, you're just, uh, taking the shell, like, all the way to the right, like, you're holding it to the right, and then you would turn left, like, at the very end, and just kind of, I don't know, it just, it looked perfect the way you were doing it. But I just thought it was weird to not have the shell already facing the wall, but it seemed to make it easier for you. Hey, Wolfgang! It's rare? Oh, okay. Yeah, nah, either way, we'll catch Beware, no problem. And Wolfgang saying, Super Tu can finish it whenever he feels like it. Hey, sounds good, man. Let go of jump at the same time as kicking it? Got you. It had nothing to do with positioning? Okay, okay. Makes the timing much more lax, although it loses a small amount of height. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I think if I practice that, doing it that way, I think I'll beat the level really fast. Should we? 
see a problem. And yo, the follow. Who is that? Frost Razor? Yo, thanks for the follow, man. Yeah, for those of you that have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm talking about uh, Mario Maker, which is another game that I was streaming yesterday. I was playing this uh, super ridiculously hard level. It's like covered in like spikes and saws and everything. Yo, why is my quality dropping so much? 3DS underpowered. <laughs> we'll see Kappa. Yo, that level, like, look. That level is, like, like, it's hard. Like, it's hard in the fact that, like, you can't make mistakes. But once you know the execution, dude, it's gonna be so easy. Like, it's not, it's not as hard as Deadliest Jets. It's not, a, it's nowhere near as hard as, you know, the impossible time. It's such an easy level. To beat it after another six hours? It is not gonna take me six hours to beat the level. It's literally not. It's gonna be so easy. Like, there's no way, there's no way it'll take me that long. Like, I'm honestly surprised after playing the level that it took King to post six hours to beat it. Like, I don't know, I don't think the level's that hard. Wolf King saying to be fair, Doomsday knew the execution after one hour and took five hours or so to beat it. Yeah. For me, like, cause like, I figured out what to do after a while, <laughs> it took me some time, but, you know, the main problem was just, like, how bad at gel jumping I am. And, you know, a lure of the darkness, or just a lure of darkness, you yeah, what's up? Time is easier from a technical standpoint, so is Deadliest Jets? I mean, I guess so. But, like... I don't know, Deadliest Jets, like, there's there's two factors that uh, made Deadliest Jets more difficult. One being that uh, there's spikes above the screen that I would just, like, forget, which wasn't, like, the main factor, but, like, it just, it would cost an attempt just here and there, and, you know, it just, it gets very aggravating, I would get tilted, and so I would lose a lot of time to that. And then the main factor is note blocks, man. I hate note blocks, okay? I absolutely hate note blocks in Mario Maker. I just, I can't do those jumps as well as I would like. And so, yeah, it's just, it's not the type of movement I'm used to, so it makes it really hard for me. And then the Impossible's time, dude? Oh my goodness. Because, like, it's, it wouldn't be as hard as it was for me if I figured out a couple of the uh, tricks that uh, Doomsday uses to beat the level. Like, I could easily, I still believe I could easily get the world record on that level if I just did my route using Doomsday's tricks. Because the way I found to beat the level requires like those really, really tiny, quick movements that just make the level so difficult. And uh, with how I'm doing, um, a true frightmare? No, I don't think a true frightmare is this technical. Like as far as like how precise the inputs need to be, I don't think it's as precise as uh, the way I was beating Impossible Time. But again, to be fair, if I did it the way Doomsday did, I think it would be easier, much easier. I said I want you to take another six hours so I get a free twenty dollars. Wait, 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 wait. You beat it in five hours. If it took me ten hours, why would you get forty dollars? Cause it doesn't take you ten. I don't I don't see how that works out. And Pryo is saying, uh, I'm soon going to race my friend in Shadow of the Colossus. Little does he know I've mastered a speedrun trick. Yo, that's so cool, dude. That's so cool. Like, um, Oh, and Allure of Darkness is trying to get a ID Perfect Vulpix? Yo, do it, man. Like, um, I have a Vulpix with snow, or snow Warning, but like, that's it. I don't have any IVs or anything. And Wolfgang was saying the challenge on a level like True Frightmare isn't the individual techniques, it's the combination. 
because you can practice each one, but then when you try to string them together and fail, it starts to weigh you down on you, if you know what I mean. No, nah, no, nah, I understand. Because, um... That's Impossible's time, you know? Because, like, Impossible's time has, you know, the time requirement versus, uh... A true Frightmare, which you have all the time in the world, but... Like, you can't ever mess up a single time because you die, so it's effectively the same thing. I mean, like, there's actually, there's two parts of the level you can mess up in. There's two parts of the level you can mess up without dying, but everything else will kill you, so... I don't know. I think that you can mess up in two areas without losing it makes it easier. Versus, uh, the impossible time where you literally have to do everything perfect. Like... Wolfgang, you should know just how hard those springs are, man. Like, with the route that I was taking with the springs, like, you have to be so precise. It's ridiculous. Yo, where's my beware at? What do I need for the Pokedex? Yo, I need, like, everything. Especially things to evolve. Yo, where is my frames going? They're just going away. <laughs> Dude, they knew that Vinx was doing the whole the hard way, but didn't tell him. Typically, yeah, nah. Sounds about right. A failure is an indication of the difficulty of the level. Otherwise, you get 40 for losing. I get 25 for winning. Nah, that sounds perfect. And yeah, Wolfgang says I don't think this funny helmet is the path to take to get the world record in time. If you want to use an intended solution to do that, you should do the Yoshi 8 path. I mean, like, the way I'm looking at it, I think maybe you could get a better world record with the Yoshi 8 path, but what I know for a fact is the time that it had when I beat the level, I could get the world record uh, compared to that. Could someone beat my world record afterwards? Probably. Very likely. But I'm just saying it was possible is all. Thanks. you don't have to do everything perfect to beat time? No, you don't. But it depends on the route, that's what I'm saying. It's just the way I was playing the level made it more difficult. And Wolfking saying, yeah, the springs are super frustrating. And on Frightmare, I did tell you in Doomsday that it took 10 hours to clear it. I'd up the price to 40, so he'd get an extra 20, and you would too. Okay, okay. <laughs> Fair enough, if that's how you want to do it, Wolfking. I thought the extra $20 was just for, like, you know, I feel bad that you had to play this level for 10 hours. <laughs> like, as an incentive. Oh my goodness. But yeah, no, it, it doesn't matter. It's not gonna take me 10 hours to beat the level, so it doesn't matter. made the level more difficult because you failed to completely solve the puzzle, but that's not technical skill. Well, I mean, yeah, no, it, it is a puzzle level, but I, uh, you know, it's it's me, it's Banks, so I beat the level, uh, understanding most of it, but, uh, or most of my path, but the rest of it was all brute force, my technical skill, and hence why I view the level more technical than you envision it yourself. <laughs> it's not going to take me 10 hours to beat the level. It's not, dude! I will beat the level in less than 10 hours. I will beat a true frightmare in less than 10 hours total. You got, what, 4 hours and 9 minutes in? Yeah, nah, it'll take me like... It'll probably take me at most, at most, 3 more hours. But I don't think so. I think I could do it in 1 or 2 hours. Looking scene. Yes, Finding Helmet Path is pretty precise in terms of perfection. But I agree that the Bomb Path and Yoshi Ink Path are both surprisingly forgiving. I'm sad I gave up on them so quickly, but someone directed me towards the Helmet Path. Yeah. Alright, but time doesn't require anywhere near as much technical skill as a true frightmare. I mean, I guess. Like, I mean, because, like, 
Literally, you have to shell jump in a true fight break. That in and of itself is technical skill, like it is. And you have to do that multiple times. You have to do these P-switch jumps. But like, I don't know. Cause like, at the same time, it's just knowledge, right? Cause like, beating, beating, um, impossible time is knowledge of knowing how to beat the level. Beating, uh, a true frightmare is technical skill. I guess, I guess that's what it is. It's just like, once I get a feeling for the technical skill, and I know how to do it, it just feels so easy to me that I just don't look at it as difficult anymore. I mean, I'm not saying I'm good at shell jumps, because I'm not, but like, it'll just take a little bit of practice, and it'll be done. Frames, thanks. <laughs> look, I'm not arguing that it's more, that, uh, Impossible's time is more technical than a true frightmare. I'm just arguing that my perception of the levels is different than yours. Yo, this beware just doesn't exist, dude. I've never had this much trouble finding a beware. Like, every time I'm, like, grinding Pokemon levels, I come here and I just... Uh, SOS Bewares. But today, the Bewares just don't want to come out, man. And also, my quality keeps dropping so hard, I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why, like, all my frames just don't exist today. It's quite upsetting. It's like, what is this? Why can I only see, like, the top of gold isopod? Like, I don't know. My wireless just isn't working really well. And you know what the follow in Cosmic Blade? Dude, thanks for the follow, man. Yo, I apologize for all the drop frames. I have no idea why. My capture isn't working as well as it normally does. But, like, this happens sometimes. Like, sometimes, like, the capture is just really bad because it's all wireless. So it's like, you know, like, obviously I'm supposed to be really close to the router, which I am. I'm, like, right next to the router. It's literally not even a foot away. Um, there's no other, like, wireless devices, like, on this entire floor. So, cause, yeah, other wireless devices can, um, make the signal, uh, can worsen the signal. But yeah, no, nah, there's no other wireless devices. I have the settings, like, on pretty, like, average, which is also supposed to help increase the frame rate. I don't know. Yo, beware, get out of here, dude. Where for art, though? Yeah, Wolfgang saying, Jupe saying, super to you regarding next race, let's finish a true frightmare first. I'd also like to get around to clearing the next level I plan to submit, although this weekend has been rough on me. The food poisoning, so I haven't been able to focus on it much today. Yo, it's all good, man. Yo, take care of yourself. Food poisoning's no fun, man. I'm sure we all remember what happened to me with that apple in Tasmania. Never again, dude. I thought I was going to die. I literally, like, I'm not exaggerating. I literally thought, I literally thought I was going to die. Like, that's how painful it was. I was in so much pain for, like, I don't know, like, a week? It was literally a week of the most pain I've ever been in in my entire life. <laughs> the bot doesn't even handle single versus plural. Yeah, I forgot about that. I used to, um, I used to have, uh, parentheses on the S because, again, I was really lazy. But, uh, I guess at some point I took that away? I don't know. I don't know when I did that. Yo, where in the world is this beware? Hmm? 
Oh wait, I don't have a gold duck. Why have I not caught one of these gold ducks? I'm like just running away from all of them. Wait, no, it says I have a gold duck. I could have sworn it said I didn't have one. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Your bot handles it? Yo, it's literally not hard. Like, I could fix that instantly. Just, I'm not gonna do it midstream, and I'm gonna forget after stream, so you know how it is. Oh my goodness! It's like, what, a 5% chance to encounter Beware? And I've been sitting here for how long now? What time is it? Because we caught that Feebas, like, almost instantly, right? It's 7.41 now, so we spent, like, probably about 30 minutes here running in this grass, and I have not encountered a single Beware. Like, it'd be one thing if, like, I get to the Beware, I fall swipe it, and then it uses Hammer Arm on me. And, oh wait, not Hammer Arm, um... What's it called? Double Edge. It uses Double Edge on me. Knocks itself out. Like, that would be one thing. But, like, that's not the case. Like, I haven't failed to catch a Beware. It just hasn't... Hasn't even shown itself. But speaking of that situation, we should switch Primarina into the first slot. So that way we can put it to sleep on the first turn. And then we can, uh, False Swipe. You know, switch Pokemon, False Swipe. I mean, the odds are still high that it could wake up within, like, those two turns in a uh, double edge, but, uh, it's better than false swiping turn one, I think. A Pokemon reminds you of Donald Trump? Yeah, the yellow hair, man. For Fritz saying to think if Banks brought a stuffle and battle enemies with experience you're on, he'd probably have a beware by now. <laughs> I know, right? Dude, because like I think I have like two or three stuffles, but I wasn't expecting to um you know be here for this long. It doesn't normally take that long for me to encounter beware, but now it does. <laughs> Yo, puppy, puppy needs to shell out. So, Binks, is the uh, schedule accurate? I mean, not for, like, literally, um... Not for, uh, Saturday. Like, Saturday will be... I'll be switching that. Like, I'll probably update the schedule after I finish the stream. <laughs> what do you mean, test, test? Like, look. I'll be updating it as I end the stream, like, chill out. Actually, I'll just- I'll just do it right now. Cause, like, that takes, like, literally no effort. And I can't find this Beware anyways! Yo, Beware doesn't exist, dude. It just doesn't exist. Alright, one... One beware. Oh yeah, sorry Honig, yeah, the stream was much earlier in the day. I was playing uh, Mario Maker. I was racing Doomsday in a level called uh, A True Frightmare. It's a pretty cool level. It's full of spikes. Oh, you streamed early yesterday? Um, I streamed yesterday because I wasn't sure how long it was going to take me to play the level. But, um, yo, with the follow. Yo, Beck Ramsey. Thanks for the follow, man. Cause like, I was like, you know what, I'll just, I'll just go the full 10 hours to beat this level if I have to. Like, that's how I felt at first. But then like, after 4 hours, and there was like, delicious food, I was like, you know what, maybe I should just eat food instead. That sounds way better.
And that reminds you? Where does it remind you of Fiona Bay? But where is this for where? Why can't I find a for where? Gumshoes, go away. Yo, that food, look, look, look. That food was mad OP, okay? Like, I normally cook for myself, right? Like, and uh, I always like cook like way in advance and stuff. And, you know, I plan like when I'm going to eat and, uh, you know, I tend to eat like the same things like throughout the week. But then Gypsy specifically made some really, really delicious food. And, you know, she cooked it. I didn't have to cook it. I, and she was offering. There's no way I could turn that down. What was the name of the person I just followed? Oh yeah, that's weird. My newest follow isn't updating. Yeah, let's go take care of that. Yeah, I forgot to turn on uh, Streamlabs. Like, I added it to my, like, list of things to make sure I do before the stream, and I still forget. Wait, yeah, it's on there. It's on my list. Yeah, it was, uh, Beck Ramsey who followed last. F uh, before him was Cosmic Blade. Capture sure is laggy today. I know, right? It's so bad today, and I don't even know why, and it makes me so sad. I think it's a bad idea to stream new games. The reason is simple, a new game has the least amount of people interested in watching it. I mean, that's not entirely true at all. Like, um, it depends on the game. Like, generally when a game comes out, you don't want to stream most new games because the amount of people streaming the game is just so high. Like, Final Fantasy XV is a perfect example. Like, Final Fantasy XV, it's hilarious. The last time I looked at XV, I don't know if it's still like that, but it had, like, I think 15,000 people uh, watching this, uh, watching that category, right? 10,000 of those people were in a single stream, and then the other... No, 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 that's, that's not right. That's not right. It was, um, it was 5,000 people, yeah, it was 5,000 people in a single stream, and then I think it was 2,000 people in the second stream, so that's 7,000 people in just two streams of Final Fantasy XV. The number goes up to 15,000. There were so many individual streamers streaming Final Fantasy XV with three and two and like five viewers, and that added up to the extra 8,000 it needed to be the 15 for Final Fantasy 15, which that's just so silly to me, that's so silly. Capture card is lagging? Yeah, it's so bad, dude. I don't know why it's lagging so bad. It's not normally this bad, but it's just atrocious right now. And I can't find Beware, dude. Beware just doesn't even exist. But yeah, it, it definitely depends on the game. Like, Mario Maker, for example, was a great game to stream, even when it, like, first came out. Because, like, uh, there's certain systems that generally don't do as well with their new games. Those systems being the Wii U and the 3DS. Like, the 3DS, because not many people, like, you know, they don't have, like, capture devices for it and whatnot. And then the Wii U, just, uh, there aren't that many Wii U streamers. So when you're streaming a Wii U game, there's uh, less competition. I mean, obviously if it's a brand new game, like say, uh, when um, Zelda came out, the Twilight Princess. When Twilight Princess first came out, it was pretty difficult to try to stream that game. Man, the lag is so bad right now. But yeah, it, uh, it fell off very quickly afterwards, and then it was pretty easy to pick up years from that. But then shortly thereafter, the game just dropped off, and people don't really watch uh, Twilight Princess. Yo, you think it'll be faster? Yo, nah, man. I'm gonna, like, walk, like, one more step, and I'm gonna find this beware, dude. I'm gonna find this beware in the next encounter. Yo, let me look up Aware. Am I forgetting something? Because, like, I've never, I've literally never taken this long to find a Aware before. Have I just been lucky 
every single time I've walked into a beware, because this is where I catch them. Yeah, it's 5% day or night in both games. 5%, it's a 1 out of 20 chance. You know, like, if you're rolling a 20-sided die, you just have to roll 20 once. Like, I just have colossal bad luck right now. Oh my goodness. It wants to be petted? Yo, forget beware, man. He just needs to show up. Yo, I'm thinking short term, you shouldn't be chasing after the people that already got that new game. I mean, like... I don't know, Doomsday. I kinda... I kinda disagree. Oh man, something's in my eye. Rip. Nope, not. We're good. Oh my goodness, but where? Come on! Consider the millions of people that have never played it and aren't interested. I mean, like, but like, here's the thing, Doomsday. Like, because like, you're streaming as well, right? Like, uh... Try, like, literally just... No, 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 you don't have to, don't even have to do that. Here's a better idea. What you should do is, uh, there's this social... Or, not a social site. There's this site, an analytical tool. It's called twinge.tv. And it works just like twitch.tv, where, you know, it's just that twitch.tv slash super2u. So, yeah, instead of twitch, it's twinge. And, uh, put in, you know, put in my site, put in people, other streamers that do Pokemon, put in other streamers that do, um like Mario Maker or anything, you know, and try to compare the amount of viewers that people are getting based off of, like, how many followers they necessarily have, how often they stream the game, and, like, you'll you'll see, you'll see what I'm going for here. Twinge, yes, T-W-I-N-G-E, it's a really good site, and, uh, yeah, that's, if you want to see where, like, people are actually finding growth at, that's a really good way to do it. Cause yeah, like, after the talk we had last time, I definitely went back and like, I looked at all of my broadcasts between July to now, and it definitely gave me a lot of insight into what I should be doing. Yo, Real Deal Well says you can't even see the screen, yo, rip. Yeah, nah. Yeah, give me a sec, guys. I'm gonna try to reset it. Maybe it'll work better. Yo, rest in peace, Beware, dude. Like, I don't know why Beware is being, like, so lame. Alright, I'm just gonna throw up an image for a sec, because I have to turn the 3DS off. Let's see. I should have some sort of sound. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know, I know. Yeah, this is faster. Oh, wait. Nope, not if it doesn't pop up. There it is. <clears throat> Yo, any second now. Yo, there we go. <clears throat> and yo, Honin says I have 60 followers and I rarely get one viewer, but the views come in for Mario Maker. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yo, you wanna add me on the friend thing, Beck Ramsey? Yo, are you trying to, like, battle me? Cause I'm always down to battle people. Half a year ago? Yeah, cause, like, I was trying to see where... Cause, uh, I just, I wanted to have a better idea of when my stream was, like, at its highest peak, when it started to drop off. Cause I remember mentioning April, but, uh, it was actually July where I had, uh, the biggest drop off. I could have sworn it was April, but um, but yeah, nah, cause like even after I stopped streaming uh, Mario Maker, it was actually pretty decent for a while, which Tin Soccer had mentioned, which I didn't remember, I honestly didn't remember that. So I had to investigate. And yeah, he was right. Mega Man race next? Yo! I would totally race someone to Mega Man for sure, that would be fun. 
I mean, preferably, uh, X2 since that's my best Mega Man. But I'm willing to try other things. It just probably won't work out very well for me as well. Alright, let's see if I can get this 3DS back up. drop-off wasn't sudden according to the site. It really wasn't. But yeah, I had to look at the individual broadcast to really get a good understanding for the numbers. Except for March? I don't know, that might be when I was viewbotted. I was viewbotted twice, I forgot about that. I was viewbotted, um... Where was it? Yeah, I think I was viewbotted once before I hit 1,800 followers or something like that, and then once again around 2,500. Yeah, where is my buttons are hard? There we go, my viewer. Alright, is it working now? Let's see if this is working any better than it was before, or if it's just as bad. Well, it's still pretty choppy, but that's not too surprising. Yo, you're still waiting for my X6 speed run? Yo, you'll be waiting forever, dude. I have no intentions of speedrunning X6. Like, I would like to eventually speedrun the other, like, you know, the Holy Trinity, X1 and X3. Since I, I only do X2, which is so random, you know? Because it's, it's the middle one. How do you not do the first or the last one instead? But yeah, nah, X2, man, it's such a good game. I love X2 a lot. Oh, and yeah, Wolfgang's saying, just to throw my two cents out there, I think you have to consider the fan base you've already built. I've watched several streamers just explode over the last year and a half or so, and having varying content is good for growth. But you have to remember that your initial crowd was the Super Mario Maker crowd, and then you cut the game off. Yeah, but, like, that's the problem. Like, I should have switched from... Because, like, I went from Mario Maker to, like, literally everything. And there's the full where We did it. We did it. Like, I went from Mario Maker to, like, literally everything. Like, I was so tired of Mario Maker, and, like, I just decided that I didn't care if I, uh, dropped in viewership, because I was like, I'm just, I just can't play this game anymore. I'm just not interested. And, um, so I played, I played, like, Metroid, I played Sonic the Hedgehog, I played Pikmin, I played Pokemon, I played so many really random games, right? I played, uh, Xenoblade, like, Xenoblade and Ocarina of Time, like, I feel like both of- oh, wow, that dealt no damage, that was not part of the plan. I gotta be a bit more careful about this. But yeah, I streamed all these games, and so that alienated all those people, because they are only interested in Mario Maker. I had the assumption that, uh, by playing more Nintendo games, that a lot of those people would still be interested, but I was completely wrong. I was completely wrong about that. You should open your Pokedex so we can screenshot what Pokemon I need. I need, like, all of them, dude. Like, I'm missing so many. Alright, where's the sleep? Did he do something to, like, reduce my attack? Or no, that's right, he has, uh, he has that ability. I forget what it's called, it's like, Fluffy or something? I don't know. But yeah, contact moves do reduce damage, and it has just naturally high defense, so... Yeah, no, it's pretty tough. That's alright, we'll just get it low. I'll try to catch it on this turn. Oh, wow. Nah, he's gonna pain split. Of course he's gonna pain split. Yo, don't SOS! We don't need all that. Yeah. 
and Doom Six says, but yeah, your average viewer count has gradually been going down since April. It's only recently stabilized and started going back up. Yeah, like um, looking at like the actual broadcast dates, like I had I had some pretty high, uh I had some pretty high highs going from April to July, but it was all downhill from there, man. And it was definitely from me playing too many games. Chris, three frames per second, finally? I know, right? Oh, dude, of course you're gonna crit. Of course you're gonna crit. Goodbye, Sabrina. Dude, I didn't bring, like, 50 Pokemon with me. I just brought Golisopod and Primarina, because, like, they're level 80. I thought that would be good enough, but that is not the case, dude. Oh man, these are bad times. God, this thing's so strong, man. It's so- oh no. Oh no, dude. They're gonna knock me out. I should've brought, um... I should've brought Nebby, because Nebby can't be hit by their attacks. Yo, Hyper Potion, please. Yo, that only heals 120. These are not good times. This Pokemon hits me way too hard. And yeah, my frames are like super dropping again. Could be that Mega Man XRPG? Yeah, no, nah, none of that for me. No, thank you. Oh, I have Leech Life. I guess I could. Oh, it's not very effective because it's Fighting type. That's right. Go away! Yes. You needed one of them then. Be down. Too much damage. Speaking of Sonic, where's Sonic CD and Three and Knuckles? I played Three and Knuckles. That's uh, I'll upload it on my YouTube if you want to watch it. I mean, it's not on uh, the Super TU YouTube. It's on the Super TU Live. Or wait, I might have put it on Super TU. I don't remember. Cause like it depends on like how long the video is. If it's longer than. If it's longer than, uh, like 30 minutes and it's not a personal best in the speedrun, I generally put it on the other channel. Because, like, those videos don't do well. They're just there for... I just enjoy having the VODs forever. Yeah, Doomsday is saying, so you just explained it, they were only interested in Mario Maker, then why are you doing the same thing with Pokemon now? Don't tell me you think Pokemon has a larger fan base, let alone the current generation. No, no, no. Pokemon, what it definitely does have, I've noticed, is, um, it's a lot easier. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter, because, like, the argument I was just going to make, because, like, I like Pokemon, but, like, I don't really plan on playing it for that much longer. I honestly don't. I don't enjoy the game quite as much as I thought I was going to, which is unfortunate. But I'm having fun at the moment, and that's what's important. The Wolf King saying, oh, oh, don't die. Don't die. Ah, oh, Pain Split! And why do you have to SOS the other one anyways, man? Alright, alright, now we got this. We'll just knock out the other Beware, right, with my last liquidation. And we will throw that Pokeball. He won't use Thrash and knock himself out, because I'll be so mad if he does. But he better not Pain Split either. He has to hit me with some useless move. What does he have? Hammer arm? Yeah, it is hammer arm. You know, double hit? I don't need double hit. Oh, he's confused. Oh no! Use thrash. Okay, okay, it's fine. It's fine. We're still in there. He's still in there. Yo, what kind of balls do we have? The timer ball? How many turns has it been? I don't know if that's the best one. Maybe I should just ultra ball. I can't remember how many turns, I don't think you can track. Oh, I don't have any Ultra Balls? Yeah, no, I just have Great Ball, dude. What is this? Oh, man. I can't use the Dust Ball. It's day in Pokemon Moon. Oh, man. Alright, alright. Uh, uh... Which ball should I use? I don't know. Oh. Uh. Yeah, no, I don't think any of these really help. Oh, timer ball it is. Let's go. Maybe. Maybe it's been enough turns. Yo, my frames are just gone, man. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll read your message in a sec, Wolfgang. I'm sorry. I'm just a little distracted. Yes, I caught the Beware. Dude. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, dude. That took way too long. That took way, way, way too long. I did not think it was gonna happen. Yeah, no, I think... I think I'm gonna have to stop streaming Pokemon for today. Cause like... It's just... The wireless, uh, streaming is just not working today. Like, some days it's just really bad, and today seems to be one of those days, so I think I'm gonna switch games. But, I'm not sure which game I'll be switching to just yet. Alright. And yeah, no, like, the frames are just so bad, dude, and I don't know why. It makes me so mad, dude. Like, I've done so many things to, like, try to help it, but... It's like, it's just being a butt to me. But yo, we caught the beware, and that's what's important. Caught the beware. Anyways, let me catch up with chat, because I'm like super behind right now. Alright, Sonic CD and 3 and Knuckles. I'm, I am I kind of want to play Sonic CD, but yeah, like I said, I already played 3 and Knuckles. Only expl uh, blah blah blah, Pokemon, let alone the current generation. Honej is waiting for Banks to play Sonic in the Glass House. Is that like a fan game? Because I'm not going to play any Sonic fan games. Wolfgang seeing uh, something Ryukar does now is he only streams Super Mario Maker to do the Blind Kaizo race on Fridays. He's a little overwhelmed with streaming Super Mario Maker. You might not like Blind Kaizo races, but you have done uh, the races with Doomsday, and maybe you'd find some fun with uh, hosting a Saturday night Super Mario Maker race or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty much done with the game. Like, because, like, I don't know, man. It's just... Like, I don't have that much fun. Like, I have fun in small doses. Like, I'm having a lot of fun playing a true Frightmare, but, like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to make it, like, a regular thing, even, like, weekly. And Wolfgang's saying it could be informal, like, a highlight challenge. You could even recruit two viewers to design levels. I don't know, just throwing out ideas. Because I know you've, uh, burned out on viewer levels, but you do seem to enjoy racing. This is true. I mean, I could give it some more thought, but... I don't really think, like, the growth is there. So, I don't know if it's worth it. Wolfgang's saying, I don't know, it might not be the right solution for you, but I thought I'd just throw the idea out there. Yo, I appreciate that. I really do. That's cool, man. And D-Train saying, I understand that Doomsday... Wait, what is the point of streaming something you don't enjoy? Think of work-based. If you don't enjoy your job, you make a change. At least most people do. And yeah, I'm not saying you should play something he doesn't enjoy, but just because he enjoys something doesn't mean he should stream it three days a week. Yeah, that's for sure. And Wolfgang hopes Super T remembers to read his message. Yes, I read it. There's plenty of games he enjoys. Friday Face Rip. How about finishing that race? Um, no, I don't think I'll do that, like, literally right now. And, um... Trombone Master saying, You haven't done a red speedrun in a while. Yo, you right, Trombone. I've been meaning to get back into speedrunning forever. I'm not against playing some Pokemon Red. We could do that. And D-Train saying, I don't know for me if I really enjoy a game that would... Uh, take a decent amount of my stream, maybe mix something else in. To be clear, I'm not saying you shouldn't stream Pokemon at all, I'm saying you shouldn't stream it two more days in a row. I mean, I completely disagree just based off of numbers. Like, the numbers are really good. But, what I will say is that the game is not working for me, like, right now, so I'm gonna stop streaming. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to Pokemon Red. I think that's a great idea. I need to get my controller, though. Oh yeah, that's right, my controller's, like, broken. I could try to use this Xbox controller. Ugh. This is gonna be atrocious. It's gonna be so bad. But yeah, no, this this should work. This should work. Um, should I switch setups? No, that's a lot of effort. I'll have to unplug either my mouse or keyboard, because this computer only has four inputs. But yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch to Pokemon Red. Let's do that. I'm saying you shouldn't stream it two or more days based on what numbers? Because like, Ever since I started streaming uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon, I've gotten way more follows. My follows are higher with this game than any of the games I've been playing within the past few months. It also has the highest max counts of viewers. It's also had a very slow increase on my average amount of viewers as well. So yeah, the numbers are higher. But yeah, either way, we are currently switching to Pokemon Red. Yeah, let me update my title. So, like, people don't come in and go, Oh, hey, buddy, why aren't you playing Pokemon Sun and Moon? And I'm like, I'm playing Red right now. But thanks for coming by. But yeah, we're gonna do a speedrun. It's been a while, so I'm gonna be super rusty and probably bad and forget everything. But it should be fun. Alright, D rust percent. I'm pretty sure that's what everybody says. Wait, any percent? Yeah, we'll just say any percent D rust. That'll be my title. 
follower count means nothing, viewer count shouldn't be looked at short term. I mean, you're not wrong, but like, I also, I don't know, it's, it's hard to take everything you're saying, because like, I don't think you're looking at the grand scope of everything. Um, what am I looking for? Oh yeah, Pokemon, Pokemon Red. Yeah, let me just turn off this derpy viewer, dude. I don't know why it was like being so bad. Yeah, I'll just put that on for a second. Alright. Alright, thanks. Games? Emulation? Oh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for... Game Boy. Yeah, BGB, that is the emulator that I use. Yo, last time I did a speedrun, it was gold. It wasn't even red. I'm so bad at gold. Like, I just played it for the novelty, you know? Alright, let's, let's switch this scene up. It's been forever since I used this one. I want to see everything's not, like, in proper position. Oh yeah, that's right. I used a monitor capture for this game instead of a window capture. I don't know why, because I have to capture the whole window for, um, for it to be eligible for speedrunning. Let me see if I can just do a normal window capture. I don't know what the problem with that is. Oh, it doesn't it doesn't cover the border? Can I turn the border on? Yeah, entire window. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, get rid of the monitor capture. Oh, game's too loud? Alright, it's at like, the game volume's at 30%, I think it was at like 70% earlier. Let me know if that's any better or not. And yeah, Trombone saying, consistently high viewer counts is one of the qualifying factors for partner channels. Oh yeah, for sure. But like, what I'm going for right now is not partnership. I'm not going for partnership, that's not my goal right now. My goal is just, uh... Just to get more viewers that go to my stream regularly. I don't have many regulars. And that's kind of, you know, the first step. Oh, this should be fine. Would it be better if it was still, like, a little lower? Like, it's at 28% now. Alright, I need my live split. Let's find live split. Alright. 